bit um, about this idea of, you know, yeah. how do we think of something new? The curse of knowledge. Do you yeah. have something to talk about that? I do. And it's difficult for me to talk about it because, <laughs> because we're, well, we're so wise, aren't yeah. we? We know so much. Now, j joking aside, um, one of the things that, again, by forcing yourself to be in a different starting position, you can rid yourself of the biases and the perspectives you've got. Mm. It's really, really difficult. If you're really good at maths, it's almost impossible to really feel what it's like to not be good at maths and to be struggling with maths. Yeah. It is really difficult to do that. And so I think that's, that's, that's a good example. It's how teachers have this all the time. You know, they, they forget that if they're teaching physics, let's and say. they taught it for like 20 they, years. Not only have they taught it for 20 years, they've probably studied it. Yeah. Right? They probably studied it, which means they probably did it at A level. So if they're teaching at IGC, IGCSE or teaching it at age 12, they're probably starting off teaching to everybody. Only a small percentage of those go on to do GCSE mm -hmm. and then even smaller to do A level and then degree and then to end up teaching it. So you're a long way removed from probably, the average yeah. person. So you've got like multiple layers of curse of knowledge. So I would say that um, it's something, it's almost like a fish is, doesn't know it's in water. It's almost impossible to realize that. So you have to deliberately force yourself through algorithmic procedures mm -hmm. to actually put yourself in a different position. I yeah. mean, ha you as a, as a learner, how do you, you know, how do you deal with that? that well, I, was, I was, when you said, when you talked about math, it was kind of coming to me because, mm -hmm. you know, um, every math teacher comes in and teaches you a couple of techniques to do certain operations. So I'd always learned long division. So I'd yep. always go like 10 lines down with my yep. long division. Um, and one of my teachers, you know, she thought that was wrong and she wanted me to do the, the method where you, it's not really that different, but like yeah. essentially you want to find the remainder so you carry stuff around yeah. in one line and it just didn't click. Yeah. And even now, I, I don't know how to do it. I'm, I've been that, that method. through yeah. school math, yeah. uni math, and uh, I have a master's degree, but I still don't know how to do that. It's just, um, and that's, that's part of the, I think we, it's kind of, I don't know whether it's muscle memory, it's the same thing with running. It's, it's kind of like we, we, yeah. we get so used to a certain methodology, we, we just are too close to even realize that there's a different and often sometimes, maybe not often, but sometimes a different way to do it. Mm. And humans don't like to think, actually. You know, the, it requires a lot of energy to think. Mm -hmm. And so the, physiologically, it requires a lot of energy for the brain to actually think. So yeah. you, humans would prefer, in evolutionary terms, not to have to do it. I mean, you don't want to work out how to get dressed using first principles every day. <laughs> you know, all the different combinations, bit. right? So, oh, what do I do again? What was it? So, so you, you want to have, have these routines, into... these shorthands, these yeah. shortcuts for actually, so you don't have yeah. to think. And so it's totally logical. It's a very natural thing. So I guess what we've got to do as teachers slash learners still is just be aware of these things. Be aware that we will have biases. Be aware that we will have perspectives. And be aware that we will tend to always see things in a certain way because yeah. it works for us. I mean, the interesting thing is that the, the students that often come up with the most creative ways of looking at things are the, are the ones that didn't get it first yeah, time. They, they're, they're often struggling yeah. with the, the conventional path. Yeah. And often and that's kind of the sad part of our, our a system which is so built upon like following a certain procedure these students often get left behind because they, they just didn't follow the you know, the exact methodology that the teacher uses totally so so i mean